Yeah, uh, talk to me about how you're feeling. You just went out there and, and beat Misha Tate. Unanimous decision. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good that I was able to take her down. I feel good about the elbows I landed. Uh, I felt good that she couldn't take me down. As um, soon as my butt hit the ground, I was right back up. I wrestled hard. I stayed focused. Um, yeah, I, a lot of stuff that we did in practice happened tonight, and I, I was just... Man, it just feels good to come back and get a win over a former champion. Nobody's going to walk over me in this division. And like I, like I said in the interview, when I'm healthy and I'm focused, I'm a force. Where do you feel like this ranks in your career wins? I mean, she's obviously such a huge name, big stage. Everybody was talking about this fight coming this week. Did, is this like the most satisfying win of your career right up there? Not, you know, all, I think all the wins are satisfying in one way or another. Uh, no, I mean, I could sit here all day and talk about the cool experiences that I've had fighting and in the UFC. I mean, even back in Alaska, uh, one of my, you know, first fights was for the Alaska Fighting Championship, for the championship. And um, that's, honestly, I don't know if any fight will ever top that one because it was one of my first, like, anyway, big moments. But... Um, this is up there. This is a great day. Those are some great moments. I'm very happy right now. And uh, I think part of it, too, is that I'm not like there's been like big victories that I've had where I'm like almost in disbelief, like, oh, I can't believe I won that. That's fucking amazing. And right now I feel like, yeah, I won that because I'm a badass. You know, I'm a bad motherfucker. I should, you know, I have the ability to win fights like that. And uh, I feel like I'm right where I belong. Yeah, you proved that tonight. Did you feel like coming into this fight, it seemed like a lot of the talk was like about Misha, oh, she could get the next title fight, it's her debut. Did you feel any sort of chip on your shoulder about the attention that she was getting coming into this one? No, I mean, that my whole career has been like that. Every time I go into a big fight, I'm kind of counted out and like I'm always the underdog. And yeah, I love that. I feel like that's right where I fit. And speaking of fit, where do you fit in this division now? Uh, you, you made a call out. It sounds like on the broadcast they said that uh, Jessica Andrade might be out of that fight. Um, so I guess where do you go from here with that with that piece of information? I don't know. You know, uh, I'm like five minutes removed from the octagon right now, so I don't know. You know, uh, today's Ju July 16th, July, August, September. Yeah, I could talk to um, I could talk to my manager about him, talk to my team about it. You know, uh, we'll see what happens. Lauren. Jim Grease, MMA Weekly. Congratulations on the win. That was a big one. I, I wanted to talk to you about her size and her strength. She looks so big and so strong in there. And I know you kind of maybe took that personally because you're known for being the strongest girl in the division. And she just kind of came down and was saying, hey, my path is clear. But she did. She looked big and strong in there. But it looked like you got the best of her in that regard. You were stronger. How does that feel? And what were you thinking when you saw her, her size? Were you just kind of... Did she look bigger than me? Yeah. I don't TV know. TV she did, yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, no, I... No, I've been working with a new team. So I started working with a brilliant woman named Lisa Reagan and um, a guy named Brian McKenzie. And they've got a couple people on that team, Tiana Ringer and David A. Black. And they've been all helping me with my nutrition, my strength, my conditioning. And so what's ended up happening in the last like, oh man, I think we, I've been working with them since like February or so. And um, what happened was, I got leaner, I got stronger, I got faster, and um, but yeah, they've really changed like my physique. They've changed the way I feel. I feel, I feel amazing. I don't know. It, it, it's hard for me to believe that anybody. I'm like you know. You see that meme of the like kitten that's looking in the mirror and sees a lion. <laughs> that's how I feel. I don't feel like there's really anybody stronger than me. I don't even care if they're bigger than me. I've been strong my whole life. I'm naturally very, very fucking strong. So Misha didn't feel stronger than me in any, in any aspect in there. She didn't feel more powerful than me. I think I had the power advantage. I think I had the strength advantage. Uh, yeah. No, I, I didn't really take it personally at all. So winning those five fights in a row and then you lose to the champ who's pretty much been a dominating champion and you're getting better. What did you learn from that as you move forward and then maybe face her again one day, just coming out of that fight and made you better? Yeah, I, man, I learned so much. Um, I learned a lot about confidence, you know, and so um, I changed, you know, I really worked on changing the way that I talk to myself, changing the way that I think about myself, changing the way that I carry myself. And just like I just said earlier, like it's not a surprise to me now that I could come out with a victory like this. It wasn't an accident. I'm a very talented fighter. I always have been. I'm a great fucking athlete. I have phenomenal genetics. And I've done amazing things in this sport that, 
like when I really sit down and think about it, I'm like, damn, <laughs> you know, like I didn't even start playing. I didn't even start MMA until I was 26. I'd never played a sport before. I'd never played sports growing up in school. I was not an athlete. I smoked a pack a day. I took pills. I was a train wreck of a human being. <laughs> and I walked into a jiu-jitsu gym one day and four years later, I was in the UFC fighting world title contenders and Olympians and women that hid grown up fighting you know and not only was I fighting them but I was hanging with them I was doing just fine and then six years after that I fought for the UFC world championship that's a fucking incredible story that's pretty fucking amazing and like when I really think it's like I've actually won the title for every promotion I've ever been signed to did you know that I've won the fucking title for every promotion I've ever been signed to I've done very very well in the UFC I've changed my life I've changed my family's life <laughs> I, did any of you all see that coming because I know nobody around me saw that coming you know what I'm saying like I it took me a while but I was like man I really do deserve some of the shine that that I've been trying to give myself this whole time you know I've done some pretty incredible fucking things what are you thinking as you're hearing yourself say these things because I haven't really heard you talk like this before this is new it is new I know and that's what I mean when I changed the way that I was thinking things around me started changing too but Everything I just said to you is a fact. Everything I just said is a fact. I'm not making it up, and these aren't my opinions. These are things that I've actually done. Does it almost seem to you like you're destined to put that gold around your waist at some point in the UFC? Uh, I don't want to say I, I don't want to mess with destiny. You know what I mean? Um, but I think that if I can keep giving my best, like if I can keep learning these lessons and really living these lessons, like like then I think good things are going to happen. You know, if I keep following, like, my bliss, if I just keep following what makes me happy and putting my best foot forward and doing my best, then, yeah, I think good things are going to happen, and I think happiness follows that. Um, yeah. Good to see you like this. Congratulations on an Thank awesome you. win. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, I'm Will Grant from 77 WABC Sports. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on the win. Uh, so you, you describe yourself as the luckiest person in the world, uh, I know, on Instagram and stuff like that. But tonight, I mean, leading up to this, you worked your ass off. You deserve this and what you're saying before, we know that. So my question is, what are you doing tonight to celebrate? <laughs> tonight, uh, I'm going to go eat. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go eat. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with my coaches and, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to be around the people that I love, you know. I just, uh, I'm just excited to go home and, like, be at home with, um, like, my dogs and my family. And I did work my ass off for this. I left my, I left my husband. I left home for, like, four months straight. I went to a brand new gym in a city that I'd never been to. And um, I worked really fucking hard for this. And, uh <laughs> I've been keeping this down at a dull roar, you know, trying not to um, cry about it. But it's like, man, that feels so good to have that hard work pay off because I really did put a lot, I put a lot into this and it, it feels good to get my hand raised for it. That's amazing. We're all so happy for you. Congrats again on the win. Thank you.